Let me think if there's anything cool we can do. I've done the Dionysus one. You know, the Afro Legendary is kind of interesting, but I don't know if we can make it happen. Maybe I try. Which weapon is best for no attack run? Uh, Guan Yu with Charge Skewer. Boom. Let's try a Charmy run here means I want this on. Ooh. We'll be fine there. I might actually want Priv status with this, huh? If we're going to have Afro on the special. Because there's a decent chance we won't get the uh, legendary. All right, so what we'll do is to fix that, we'll go, go Palm Blossom. And in the, that way, we don't have to use up the Aphrodite keepsake. Hello, Aphra? Oh, there you go. There we go. And then we get an epic special at the start. This way, cheating is fun. Morgan, I swear to Jesus, I will spank you so hard. This way, we can use the Aphrodite keepsake in uh, Acidel or something and have a better chance of getting legendary. Because it would, well, it would suck to go through an entire run and then just never get the one thing we're hoping to get. Ah! That's why we do it. There's, there's no challenge for me at this amount of heat with this weapon really left. So it's kind of <laughs> like. I do, I do get the occasional YouTube comment that says just like, isn't that basically cheating, bruh? Uh, maybe Ares attack since we have privilege status. But it's usually people that like, don't understand. Therefore, I just don't respond. 90% of the ill YouTube comments are people that just don't understand. Who's getting spanked? Do any of y'all think this man knows how to give a good spanking? How hard can it be? Only one way to find out, right guys? Line up, single file. Get your bare red bottom spanked by old daddy. Dude, my hands are big enough I could get two cheeks at once. Get out. All clear. Go away, Athena. <clears throat> That's how I got the bloody nose? What? Oh, uh, I was only half paying attention. It's fine. I don't want to activate other duo boon. Wait. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well. I don't really want to activate duo boons, is the problem. This won't activate Merciful End, but it'll activate the other one. Parting Shot. And I want to have higher chances of getting the Afro Legendary when we pick up her boons. This will obviously make it a very easy run, but I'll kind of attempt to avoid that. <clears throat> Change of the Seed is a mod you can download nexusmods.com. There's a link to it. I wouldn't mind uh, the Afro Ares duo here just for uh, Crib stat. Do I like Chain Shot better than Flurry here? We didn't get any of the special hammers. Perfect Shot is eh. Kind of like Chain. Chain's fun. I like I haven't done it in a while. Perfect. Go this way in case there's more Aphrodite. Run skin for harder making. There we go. <gasps> offerings ahead, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so here's the... Hmm, hold on, let's look up the legendary real quick. <clears throat> I can't... T I have to take Broken Resolve, I believe. Uh, uh. 
Yep. If I want... We can't take the green boon. We have to take Broken Resolve if we want to get unhealthy fixation. Rip green boon, boys! It's a charm build. We can't we can't just go willy-nilly into things here. No greens. In this way, we could potentially get the legendary in uh, Asphodel, because I can put on Aphrodite's keepsake still. But it was green. Well, I got a pink boon instead. You can get legendaries in trials. This would be a very early le legendary. Baby Aphrodite! Dude, I will put all the fucking body butter on you. Make it happen. Come on. Bam! There she is! Chamber 11 Tartarus legendary. Done. You think Afro gets like a fake tan? Charm him. So let's see how well this works, because I've done this with like Lucifer, and it wasn't, it didn't feel great. But maybe, maybe this will be better. We want Relentless Volley for extra, extra shots now. Whatever. Maybe I should have rolled for the dash. Take some, eh, let's go goal, we'll be fine. All right, now we'll try to get Curse of Longview, okay? That's jams. All right, let's see how often we can charm Meg. Ah, Curse of Longview. Ah, Curse of Longview. There, there's your green boon, chat. You happy now? Aaron had dialogue. Hello, Fury sisters. <laughs> oh, she's. <laughs> Where are you going to Symphony? Oh, she got she, she got so upset with herself. I'm just so charming, guys. Let's become one of those terrible uh, clickbait channels where we uh, like. Can I pick up a girl with a one-liner at the grocery store? Total cringe fest, gone sexual. I'll just be a moment, father. <laughs> Not that far away, motherfucker. Uh, I don't even know what we want now. Let's just get more Aphrodite for the fun of it, I guess. Broke out of Tartarus. The answer is no. Yeah, almost certainly no. Two thousand seven click pick right there. That is a bit outdated, probably. Bro, it's just a prank. Got to hold on. Oh, we need Aphrodite's call, right? More charm, right? Other boons for me. Dude! <gasps> Sad day. I'll still try to get it. I tried. Next was Skelly gone wrong. Thanatos. It's time. We'll catch up. It's time. All right, don't let him get a kill. The only way to keep my pride. Oh no, he's gonna get that kill. Dang it. Uh. Door. Get out of here. More pull of status. I 
need to hire triple six. Using charm of Thantos, insane new cutscene, gone sexual. <laughs> Let's start up an alternate channel where we just do stupid shit like that and we just you know, take me out of the picture and just see how angry people get. That's what you get for trying to look up sexual Hades clips on YouTube. No, no joke. I bet if you Googled like Meg or Thanatos sex scene on uh, YouTube right now, you'd get, uh, the shield of you'd get uh, videos with like hundreds of thousands of views. Hades sex mod, there you go. This actually works really well, I goes I gotta say. We didn't even get like a good hammer for it. Two hundred and sixty seven thousand views. There we go. There's a channel where it's more Hades stories focused. Yeah, where they just have like cutscenes and stuff. Where's oh Charm him. All right, let's go charm Lurney's balls off. Go for special speed. Hey, Anomaly. Hmm. Do I need the extra dash? Eh, I'll just do it. Wonderful to see you once again. Oh no! Lurnie's! Lurnie's charmed. Nothing happens, it turns out. It's too bad, like, charming enemies isn't, like, a legitimate strategy, really. In that, it's just really unreliable, I mean. So I have seen, I don't know if this is unintended or not, but I feel like if you have Aphrodite's uh, Paul, and then you get uh, that Dua Boon, Smoldering Air, so you can just keep using the call at low gauge and stuff. I think there's like a glitch, or sorry, there's like an exploit where the charm effect lasts way longer than it should. And stuff. That'd be cool to show here, but I don't know if it's gonna happen now. I guess just in case we could get it, I'll put on Zeus's keepsake. Welcome, Kenora Hall. I think I only have one slot open still, so maybe I have to sell something. That one. one less boon. Try to get it. We'll try. I make no promises. One more floor. Skip Jim's training for world record. What's up, Beetlejuice? Yeah. Ooh. Champions of Elysium. Let's get my water bottle. Oh. Ah, uh, second hammer. We got the thing! All right, four more chances of charming. Coming up. Mm, I have a lot of gold. Fucking triple six. I think uh, you lost your way from Orson's channel or something. <laughs> Yeah, 
Hey, Rando. Would being able to reroll hammers be broken? Ah, uh, probably. I'm not saying that it shouldn't be possible, but I don't really need Patty. I don't need health. I don't need uh, death defiances. Uh, and attack jerky doesn't sound very impactful. So here we go. Chat named this video. Oh God, that sounds like a, a, a mistake and a half. Can't take the call because that takes up a slot. I need Zeus to take up the... Desolation. I need Zeus to take up the cast slot and then get Aphrodite's call and then get Smoldering Air, basically. Let's see. All right, I have Meg. Whatever, we'll wait. He's so confused, sexually. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Well fought, Asterius. Hammer RNG is bullshit. I definitely get it, it's frustrating because there's so many dud hammers out there and stuff. Well, we have to spend our last roll. Sad. Hate to be ungrateful. Pretty unlikely for things to work out now, but I'll vaguely try. I don't even know if the cast actually enables smoldering air, but I'm gonna guess it does. It's a vague attempt at it. Uh, so Amir's answer to being able to reroll hammers was that the concern is that A, Faded Persuasion would be even better than it already is. B, people tend to want uh, specific hammers and not necessarily like best hammers, but the ones that they know that have worked for them in the past, which is fine, nice. but they like to encourage, um, they'd like to encourage diversity in a sense. So to kind of force you to experiment with other things instead of letting you reliably get the same one or two hammers that you know work. And I can agree to that sentiment. Uh, from the perspective of how I play the game, it would definitely make things uh, very different. Being able to reroll hammers and stuff. Especially, like, the speedrunning scene would be very, very, very different. Potentially. And I... I mean, in some ways I imagine it... I might like it better, but I'm not certain. It's really hard to say. I think that I'd rather see them try, instead of that, I'd rather see them try to balance out the hammers maybe more. Get rid of some of these dud hammers, basically. 10% special speed. And maybe that'll help us out a little bit. We're not so attuned to specific ones. Where is Aphrodite? Sounds like the same arguments for approval process. Well, my feeling on approval process to get the get that thing out of here. It's a piece of shit. Has no place in this competitive game, right guys? Alright, beautiful. From 10.7% to 12.5%. Wow. What a boon. I'm glad they gave us that extra decimal there. It was very important to me. All right, we still need more Aphrodite. Almost there. Charm the butterfly ball. If I leave the butterfly ball charmed, does it just like start summoning butterflies against our foes? That's the thing, I feel like when you charm an enemy, all that happens is they kind of just stand there for a while, right? All set. I don't need that health. Go on, Ares. Hmm. You're fine. Hey, Primer. Go! I greet you, no! Uh, 
I'll take that because all I have is holy shield, really. Boink, boink. Enemy, I lack the AI to handle this. Exactly. Charm him! Dude, summon the bull against Theseus here. No, 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 no. If I charm him while he's spinning, what happens? Oh, he's spinning against Theseus. He started targeting Theseus, it looked. It doesn't last long enough to do anything, though. Kind of have to have the call. And he just misses all, all day. When an enemy's charmed and they do an attack, can that attack still hurt you? Misses me? Oh, okay. I actually didn't know that. When did Asterius die? I don't know. He died somewhere down there. I don't know how. Should be another such performance soon. Nemesis aspect good for speed runs. Yeah, it's good. I shall have to have One of the better ones. Just get double edge and you win. Mm, I might need money. Is there anything else that could help us? Really? With Charming Daddy O. Not really. I guess I just get some money. I don't think I'm gonna die, right? Guys? Chat? No, no egg, Rad. What's the matter with you? What hammer is a sword are actually good other than double edge? Breaching slash is like kind of okay, right? Let me look up here. Ah, uh, there's only one Aphrodite. Well, I'll still try to get the call here. Something I can use. Here's the key. All right, well we got that. Wait, was there Zeus? I actually, don't remember. Uh, there's no Zeus. Sad day. How is Charon's trinket and sticks to try and bring food buffs into Hades? It's just really unreliable. Even if you do encounter a well with the food buff, which already is probably not super high chance, you might just not get the sack for a while and just run out. Yeah, I'm still gonna play Undermine today after this run, actually. After we charm dear old dad to death. Her slash is literally so bad. I still see a lot of people trying to tell me that it like carried their first win or is actually pretty good and stuff like that. But I can't help but wonder like, maybe you just haven't tried that many hammers, right? Dude, he's charmed forever. Hello? Oh. Like maybe there are other hammers were like Dash Nova, <laughs> right? Uh, Arctic Blast isn't gonna do anything. I think Curse Slash can work, but, like, it's just... Maybe this one. People telling... giving other people advice to use it to get a win is, like... I don't think... I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong! I mean, I played with Curse Slash, but it's kind of hard for me to... take it from the point of view of a new player. I will say... A lot of people said that Hazard Bomb helped th get them their first win, and honestly, now I can envision that. I think I was wrong about Hazard Bomb when it comes to being a new player. Because with Hazard Bomb, it's such a huge hitbox, you can just kite around forever and throw the special out, and it hits hard enough where you'll just eventually kill Dad without uh, too much time, I think. Any healing as a new player felt super OP. It's funny because as 
for myself, like all the healing stuff never feels that great. Like draining cutter, one who spins, curse slash. It all comes, draining cutter is the only one that doesn't even come with a negative side effect. Um, the call? Does that work? No, oh, but I can't, so. First slash and spam will fast attacks. It's true. So, but then we're asking for like a, a specific Hermes boon or a sec or a second specific hammer like flurry slash, and that's kind of hard to go for, right? I, I do. Th I think think you're right. It's like broken slash, just really cool if you do get those things. But that's like a lot to ask for. Your heart seeking. Can you get flurry with Arthur? Nah. Like curse slash is really bad with Arthur, right? Charm him! Look at him go! Ow. Boy! I'm gonna charm the ads to see if they can... What is it? Doomstone? Charm it. It's charm. What now? What do I do now? Oh, wait, that's a full call. <laughs> okay, I kind of messed up there. I thought it was a regular call. Keep charming. Oh man, you charge up so much call from these things. Why do they just spawn so many little stones? I heard uh, people, players switch versions were like crashing because of it, because of the doom stones in this fight and stuff. Because they're just like insane. What is going on with that? He's like freaking out. I figure out where he is. Oh god. Sure footing protect me. Oh, come on. You can charm him out of the lasers sometimes. I think it doesn't always work because I think I've tried it. I think if he's already in the middle of it, it's not gonna work or something like that. But you see, like the charm makes his attacks kind of unpredictable. Because it's hard to understand when he's gonna come out of it and stuff. I guess you can't charm him out of the heal. Oh, whoops, that missed. Only well, we could charm Cerberus, huh? Ow! Gee, what was that? Did you see that move? Help me with that quick shot. Jesus. Oh! What? What? <laughs> ah! Wait, do I still have Meg? I don't think so. What, maybe? Oh, I do still have Meg. Meg did more because of Sweet Surrender. I can't charm him out of this, so. Ooh, wah -ha -ha. He's laughing a lot. That happy? Whoa! <laughs> no! Hello? You should have avoided that. 
No, no. Oh, no, we can't charm him. I tried. Got him. Stop those lasers. Don't kill me, Dad. Dad, please. Huh? All right. It's pretty weird. Triple six was wrong. That's just weird. It's really unpredictable. So unless like you practiced with the uh, super charm effects for like a long time, I feel like it's just it ain't right. In the name of Hades. It's the power of love. There we go. I love how every time we stopped laser, I was just like, huh? I guess I just didn't see it coming a lot of times. New speed tech. Oh yeah. yeah, that was uh that was a uh, that was a run alright. Better believe it. Out of here with that brown skin. Let go. Curse of longing. Special speed. Oh, in the call. There we go. Slam dunk! I know you're out there, fish. Hey, Zero. Hey there. I bet you're wondering where you can find more of this kind of action. Well, you're in luck. You can go to www.dampdad.com and catch more of this live. Oh, raw. Every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll see you there. Oh.